Welcome to the Gorilla 5 video series. In this lesson, we are going to learn the basics about the strip board. Some of the things we're going to learn are how to create a new board, how to move strips by dragging and dropping and also cutting and pasting, how to insert daybreaks using the insert button and using the auto daybreak command, and how to sort the board both manually and automatically. First of all, what is a strip board? A traditional strip board or production board is a filmmaking term for a cardboard or wooden chart holding color-coded strips of paper, each containing information about a scene in the script. The strips can then be rearranged and laid out sequentially to represent the order one wants to film in. The strip board module in Gorilla allows you to do this in a much more efficient way than the old production boards and cardboard strips. The first thing I want to explain before we actually get into the strip board is that there are two things you need to make sure are completed before you start sorting strips. The first thing is that you must make sure that either your screenplay is imported or you have created breakdown sheets. Now we did that in a previous lesson. You also want to make sure that you have created at least one production phase we explained in a previous lesson that a production phase is a group of shoot days. To get to the Stripboard module, from the Gorilla Toolbar, select the Stripboard button. When you enter the Stripboard for the very first time, you're going to be asked to create a board. Let's go ahead and name the board. You can name it whatever you want. Next, you must attach the board to a production phase. The phase you attach to a board must be flagged as a shoot day's phase, which by default they are. Then click OK. Gorilla will create your first board. Let's take a look at some of the features. Notice the strip board toolbar, which is on the left hand side of the board. Many of these strip board commands are also accessible from the Stripboard pull-down menu, as you can see here. Basically, what we are looking at when we look at a Stripboard, and I'm going to move the board out of the way here so we can see the breakdown sheet screen in the back. We can see that the board mimics, at least initially, the scene navigator. Notice at the bottom of the board, our shoot days appear as black strips. These are the shoot dates we created in our calendar module. The strip board allows you to schedule your scenes on a specific shoot day. What I'm going to do now is drag my first shoot day to right below scene 2. If you look at the page count, you can see that the total page count for the shoot day, day 1, now includes the sum of the page count for scene 1 and scene 2. This also indicates that all the scenes positioned above the daybreak strip or the black strip are to be scheduled for day one. In order to schedule the second day, you grab the next shoot day and drag it to a new position. This is the basic way to create a schedule by dragging and dropping your scenes or your daybreaks to new positions on the board. Now you want to make sure of a few things. First, that you can actually shoot the scenes that you schedule for that day. And you also want to make sure that when you are completed, the very last strip on your board is a daybreak strip. I'm going to show you another way to create a board. Let's say I want to insert a daybreak after scene two. I can highlight scene two and on the Stripboard toolbar, select the Insert Daybreak button. This command grabbed the first shoot day and moved it to my insertion point. Let's try that again. I'm going to select Scene 5, and then select the Insert Daybreak button. Another way to schedule your board is to use the Auto Daybreaks command. This allows you to place all your daybreaks on your board and disperse them according to the scene page count. Now before you use the auto daybreaks feature, 
you want to sort your board in shooting order. The Auto Daybreaks feature does not resort your board. It only adds daybreaks to your board. For example, select the Auto Daybreaks button. In this dialog, you can specify how many pages you want to schedule for each day. I'm going to enter one for one page of script per day. Notice this checkbox. You can specify whether you want the overage to be pushed to the next day or to remain on the current day. When we return to the board, each shoot day is now approximately placed on the board every one page of script. Take a look at the second shoot day. It's actually over two pages. That is because this last scene in and of itself is one and four eighths of a page and we did not check the push overage to next day checkbox. So this strip remained on this day. Another thing I want to show you is how to move multiple strips. So far, I have only been moving one strip at a time. If I select a strip and then select another strip, notice what happens. The first strip is deselected. I don't want that to happen. So in order to select multiple strips, hold down the shift key while you select multiple strips. Then grab the first strip. And notice when you begin the moving motion, the strip that you are moving turns gray with the label multiple strips. When you let go of the strip, it will place all three strips to the new position specified. Next, you can move non-contiguous strips. What does that mean? Let's say you want to move this strip, and this strip, and this strip. But all three strips do not remain selected. So in order to do this, select the first strip, then hold down the Command key if you are on a Mac, or the Control key if you are in Windows. When you are done, you can let go of the key on your keyboard, and then drag the strip and notice again you are moving multiple strips. Another way to move strips is to use the cut and paste command. This is very helpful if you have a very long board and you don't want to drag all the way up or down the board to move strips. Go ahead and select a strip. Then go to the strip board toolbar. Select the cut strip button. Notice the strip turns gray with diagonal lines through it. Then you can select another strip. Now you have a cut strip and a selected strip. Then go to the strip board toolbar and select either the paste after button or the paste before button. If you select the paste after button, it takes that strip and pastes it after the strip selected. You can also cut and paste with the traditional keyboard commands, which are Command X and V on a Mac, or Control X and V on Windows, as you can see here under the Edit menu. The next thing I want to show you is how to sort your board automatically. The Sort Strip command allows you to sort the board by different criteria. I'm going to select the set for the first sort. This is the set field on your breakdown sheets or the set field in your screenplay. You can select other sorts for a second and third sort and also specify whether or not you want that sort to be ascending or descending. Go ahead and click sort. It will give you a warning because you are modifying the sort on your board. The result, as you can see, is a newly sorted board which sorts by the set field. That wraps up this lesson. Have a great shoot.